next time you need auto parts and accessories, trust the parts professionals at the 41 San Diego O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. Our professional parts people know what it takes to get the job done right. Professionals have counted on O'Reilly Auto Parts for decades. Now you can, too. Professional parts people. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Blog Talk Radio. Closer, 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 closer,
I was, you know, a track track it ran in my family background. There was a lot of mentors who would come along the way and, and you know, explain about how storied their track career was. They're all state, so that's that's what inspired me to uh, play track. And when you were coming up, was football your favorite sport once you did start playing, or did it take some time to grow on you? Yeah, once after my sophomore season, football became my favorite sport uh, because of the camaraderie that was built. Uh, that's which attracted me to the sport. Now, John Quayle, you know as well as anybody that um, sometimes an athlete's road isn't picture perfect. Um, it's not all peaches and cream. Uh, you had a unique childhood and upbringing. Um, what would you say to a kid that wants to be successful but maybe doesn't have the support in place or doesn't have the community in place? Um, what would you say to that kid as far as advice? My advice to a kid who wants to be successful despite the lack of support is to always believe in yourself. I say to yourself that regardless of my circumstances, Eventually, my perceived pain will subside, and the key to triumph is hard work and dedication. Because uh, you know, I was able to you know achieve things without the lack of support because I was persistent. Great point. Um, talking about your upbringing and your your childhood, um, what do you think made you? Uh, not fall into some of the things that you could have been doing, some of the wrong things? What do you think kept you on the right track? Academics. Academics saved my life. Um, there was many people who I grew up with who were fortunately not here today because I was in the library when everybody else was, you know, doing certain illegal activities. You know, academics propelled me to enhance my intellect, uh, make the right decisions, not only on the field and off the field, but also um, allow me to uh, be smart in, you know, my decision making. Because if I would have took a different path, you know, I wouldn't have a college degree as I do now. And you know, my intellect wouldn't it's as high as it is now. You mentioned to me one day, and it just totally shocked me, especially um, not knowing that uh, you you had uh, a background where you grew up in a, a group home and you mentioned to me that you had to be even more dedicated to your goals and your dreams. Um, how did you find out about college and the steps to take to get to college? Uh, there was a mentor by the name of Nanette Murphy. Uh, she saw something within me. Uh, she she said you're smart smart young man. She said you know, she initially wanted me to go to UC Berkeley. That's how smart uh, she believed I was, and that was when uh, first year I had moved. She inspired me to go to college. She walked me through the process as far as filling out an application and sending in your transcripts and meeting the the eligibility guidelines academically. So she uh, was the one who inspired me to college, and ever since then, college became my primary goal. Were there times, Jacquel, where you felt as though um, maybe you didn't have the energy to put in the effort that you needed, or maybe things weren't going your way, or that that you might not make it to your dreams? No, uh, because what was riding on me was people who doubted me that I would never be successful, and the people who didn't make it to the level I knew I had a responsibility to, to fulfill, because there was somebody behind me who didn't make it. So I had to prove to them not only can you make it, but you can go beyond your expectations. So every day I will wake up, I'm realizing I'm doing it for somebody else. So that's what drove me every day. That's a great point. Was it always your dream to play professional football once you started? Yes, that was uh, that was the lifelong dream. Now me and you have worked together, and and you know we've expressed. Uh, different things, and, and you've always been somebody that's been extremely coachable and somebody that is, is once again, just a hard worker and um, somebody that is, is on their A game at all times. Talk to me a little bit about the process from going to a small college. You went to Trinity International. You went to Mayville State. 
talk to me about the process of trying to get seen as a small college football player. Well, when you attend a small college, it may be tough for the majority of players because they don't have the, the network and exposure as opposed to University of Alabama where you're on television every day. So most of the players, they don't network and they don't promote themselves. But for me, it was easy because I was connected with several NFL, CFL, and other uh, professional football scouts when I was a freshman. I did a great job of connecting, utilizing social media outlets to connect to these people so when the time came and it was my time to potentially sign with the NFL, CFL, they already had my film and or had my workouts. So that's how it was easy for me because it was similar as if I was going to Division One school where all the scouts knew who I was. Fabulous point. What has been the easiest thing for you as far as trying to stay right off the field? Um, is, is there some tip or advice that you can give because you're somebody that is always networking, like I said, somebody that always has a business mindset, entrepreneurial mindset. Um, what has allowed you to, to stay straight away from things off the field that you shouldn't get into? Just focusing on your future, uh, realizing and asking yourself, is this the right decision to make? If I make this decision, what is going to reaction? And um, just, just focusing on, you know, what do I want to see myself doing in the next five to ten years, and how will this decision impact my life? And I always, you know, stay straight off the football field was having that tenacious mindset to be successful in any field that I put my mind to. So I applied the same energy I applied to football in the business world or the educational world or the employment world. So that's how I became successful off the field. And, and constantly saying, um, you know, you look on television, you'll see someone who's incarcerated. So reminding yourself that that's not the decision you want to make. Now, you didn't actually get to, to work out at the NFL Combine this year, but you were in attendance. I know that you were on the scene meeting a bunch of people, networking, and you got a chance to, to see how some of those guys work out, like Amari Cooper who got uh, drafted from Alabama to the Oakland Raiders. What did you take away from that NFL Combine event? It was a great experience um, because I was, you know, I was speaking to NFL scouts, NFL coaches, NFL general managers. I was actually in the room uh, where the top prospects would work for the entire three-day event. Uh, so I was with Phil Dorsett and Mark Cooper, and I was talking to them, picking their brains, um, asking them what separates you from everybody else. They showed me, you know, consistently working out 24-7, uh, 365, never setting a limitation on myself. And when I step on the field, knowing that this is my, my time to dominate. And that's, you know, the wisdom that I received from those players. And, you know, what enlightened me the most was they said nothing is impossible. In your mind, Jacquel, what separates a pretender from a real pro prospect? A real pro prospect is someone who has speed, strength, and intellect on an elite level. A real pro prospect knows how to perform his position efficiently. If he is strong but not fast in his agility, he is not a real pro prospect. And if he is fast but not strong enough to get the job done, he is also not an NFL pro prospect. A real pro prospects are are sort of immaculate in everything they do as far as football-related activities. I love the fact, man, and just so happy for you that you, you're getting the opportunity to uh, get your feet wet professionally in the Arena Football League. Uh, that's a league I'm very familiar with, and it's been good to a lot of football players throughout the years. Um, it's a league where you can get film that can progress your career and get you another NFL shot. I know that you worked out for some NFL teams. Talk to me about um, keeping the right mindset and your mentality when maybe you don't get the NFL call, but you have an arena workout on the line. Uh, just staying focused, never becoming depressed because you didn't get the NFL opportunity and realizing that one day your opportunity will come. So when the Arena League opportunity came, I realized this was a stepping stone to possibly get to the next level as far as the NFL or the CFL. 
have you picked up anything um, already? I know you're fresh on the scene, but have you picked up anything, Jacquel, already from some of the, the veterans that uh, you, you are learning from? Yeah, the veterans taught me how to uh, be a professional athlete and how to enhance your caliber at the professional football level. They also um, talked to me about mediocrity, explaining to me that mediocrity is not tolerated at all and greatness is is the only option. It's, it's a whole different type of mindset on the professional level because uh, they, you know, they, they focus on perfection every part of the practice. Yeah, and a lot of people don't understand. Uh, I, I, people watch the guys on Sunday in the fall, but a lot of the guys in the Arena League played on Sunday. Some of them will get the opportunity uh, to eventually play on Sundays, but it's a high level of football. It's uh, very competitive, so uh, I know you're out there learning and working hard, man, and really proud of you. Uh, you've worked with me, and you've worked with uh, and kind of watched the content of Before You Go Pro for quite some time now. What was it that attracted you to the company as far as uh, helping you as an athlete? I realized you know, I was attracted to Before You Go Pro because it was a premier company that specialized in teaching young athletes on how to be successful both on and off the field. Before you go pro, it actually places the emphasis on academics while also focusing on athletic success. And that's the strategy that that is utilized by Before You Go Pro, which initially attracted me. And you are a business athlete all the way. Um, you know, you're, you're a, a multi-millionaire man, whether it's on the football field or off the football field and somebody that's going to do huge things in the community. So I know you're busy. Appreciate the time, Jacquel, so much. Proud of you. Last but not least, um, finish the sentence. Five years from now, Jacquel Pitts will be? A household man. There you go. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Well, hey. We're rooting you on, um, obviously, me and you, and uh, we'll be talking, you know that. But we're rooting you on as a BYGP family. Keep working hard, stay healthy, and uh, wishing you the best of luck, okay? Thanks. All right. So for there, you guys have it. That is Mr. Jockwell Pitts. Once again, this is a kid that, a young man, excuse me, that uh, is just doing things the right way, you guys really doing things the right way. For some reason, uh, somebody got to him, he, he gets it. He's somebody that is going to seek out the information that he needs to get to where he wants to go. And it's really that simple. You know, it's really that simple. There are people that have been where you want to go. Once you seek those people out, follow the blueprint. And that's what Jaquel is doing. He's gotten his first opportunity at Pro Ball with the Arena Football League, and if he does well there, he'll get another shot at the NFL, but he's also somebody that's going to be good off the field, you know, so really listen to his advice and pay attention to what he was saying, because there was some great advice shared tonight. If you guys didn't get to hear the show from Tuesday, we have Mr. Daryl Daniels on. This is a former player that I played with in a high school all-star game. He went on to play at the University of Washington. He's a Rose Bowl champ. He was a defensive MVP. Um, he's a coach now in high school, a defensive coordinator. So some great advice there from Daryl Daniels. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for NBA Finals, so enjoy that and really pay attention to how real competitors compete. Because when you look at a LeBron James or a Stephen Curry, you're talking about somebody that is an obsessive competitor. So check out how real competitors compete tonight. Hopefully you guys got something out of tonight's show. I am your host, Coach Terrence Wood, signing off for Before You Go Pro and the rest of the Before You Go Pro family. We will see you at the top. Have a good one. Now we're getting closer, 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 closer. I 
just know I'm getting closer, 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 closer than I ever been. Yeah, I used to dream about showing the world what I dream about. To get a mic my whole life, I thought it'd be the mouth. I guess it's fitting how life threw me the curveball. Pops told me work till you make it, man, then work more. I guess I took that to heart, cause I've been working harder now than I did it to start. And I won't stop till I get to the top, till I can give all of my fam all the things that they want. But uh, there ain't no doubt I continue to be the doubted. But that's just motivating, so where would I be without it? Cause the same people asking why you're doing it, will ask you how you did it. So fuck the credit, stay committed to your vision. They can't see it, it's yours. The top floor looks far where you can get in the doors. But it's crazy what you can see. With your eyes closed, I swear I stand my grind mode. I know I'm getting closer, closer, closer than I ever been. Closer, closer, closer than I ever been. I just know we're getting closer, 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 closer. I just know we're getting closer, 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 closer than I ever been. Uh, my whole life's been a chase. It's a gift and a curse. Was on my way up to the top and slipped into reverse. And the same thing I thought killed me brought out the real me. And that's real, see. You gotta find what you love and let it kill you. Just gotta live with the will like Uncle Phil do. Cause on the real, everybody goes through times when the sun don't shine. Don't know when our time will come, but it will come in time. Cause yo, I said it first, ain't no telling where I'm headed. So this is for the people that was with me when I said it. And when I said it, I meant it. I swear I won't forget it. Told my family and my friends that I'm forever in the Come for, come for. You start losing your mind when you're gone all the time and you always on the move, move, move. And you try to remind yourself it's gonna be fine and you're hoping that it's true, true. You start losing your mind when you're gone all the time and you're always on the move. And you try to remind yourself it's gonna be fine and you're hoping that it's true. But I know we're getting closer, closer. 